In this video, I am going to talk about SWR, and I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison with Redux. And uh, I will assume that most people are already familiar with Redux because it has been around for a long time. So just to give a quick recap on what Redux is, Redux is a state management library which has this uh, flow where you have some state which defines the UI, which triggers the action, which is sent to the reducer, which updates the store, which contains the state, uh, which defines the UI, and the cycle repeats itself. So you have this circular pattern. Now the issue with this is that there is a large amount of boilerplate. So each one of these boxes in the diagram is code that you're gonna have to write. So is this overkill for simple components? So if you just needed a uh, very simple component where you're displaying some data from the server, um, do you really need all of this stuff? Or is there a simpler alternative? So uh, I did some research and I came across this library called SWR uh, and that stands for stale while revalidate. And basically what it is is a React hook for data fetching and it has a built-in cache and request deduplication. It also handles revalidation, which means refetching to update the stale data. And it handles polling on interval. And it was created by the same team that made Next.js, which is uh, probably the most popular framework for React today. Uh, so SWR has this type of flow where you just have your components. And if you need data, then you can just call the use SWR hook and then you have the data to work with. So this isn't a state management solution. It is data fetching and caching solution. And it's great for synchronizing server state with UI state. So just to show some examples, we have a profile component here where we're calling uh, this user endpoint to get some user data. Now, if there's an error, then we display the error. Uh, if it's loading, we display loading. And if success, we display the component. You can also define a custom fetcher for it. So if you want to use Axios or the native fetch, uh, then you can do that. And you can also make it reusable. So I have this function here, which wraps the use SWR, uh, use user, and it takes an ID parameter. And then uh, we can use that hook inside of the components. So for example, we have an avatar component, which takes uh, an ID prop, and then we pass the ID to our hook. And uh, if it's loading, we display a spinner. If there's an error, then we display the error. Uh, otherwise, we display the image. And what if we want to update some state on the server? Well, um, and also have it reflected in the UI. Uh, there's a thing called mutations where uh, you have this use SWR config uh, that gives us this mutate function. So, uh, you know, we have this button here which changes a cookie, and then we can call mutate on this key to revalidate and update the UI. Uh, there's also a thing called bound mutate where we call use SWR and it gives us this mutate function. So, if I have a button that updates some state on the server, uh, we can call mutate but we don't have to call, uh, we don't have to pass in the key because it's already bound to this hook here. So we have simplified flow of data. Uh, there's less files to manage. It reduces unnecessary API calls, uh, but it does not solve the global UI state problem, but there are other uh, simpler libraries for that. Uh, so in conclusion, I think this library is great for syncing server state with UI state. Uh, there's definitely a lot less boilerplate than Redux. And uh, I've been using it in some real projects lately, and uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. And for uh, more resources on full stack development, check out my website at fullstackbook.com. Thank you. Bye.